Remember when we first met John McLean? Our guy picked him up from the plane and took him down the Nakatomi Tower to meet with Holly. Hello, Bots and Books fans, this is Scorp1701, and tonight we're going to be taking a look at John McClane from the Funko Pop movies Die Hard. And you can see he comes in a regular pop box like every other pop box, a little square box. And you have a little animated picture of John McClane here on the left. You have Pop Movies Die Hard with a nice broken glass logo. He is number 667. So that's uh, an interesting thing about that number. It's not 667 from Die Hard, but from Pop Movies, he is the 667th movie figure that they've made from various movies. Uh, his name is John McClane. He's a vinyl figure, figurine de vanille, vic figurine de vanille. Okay, and there's some warnings here on the bottom. A uh, little window glass on the side, or plastic uh, on the side. Pop movies, John McClane, again, 667. They see the little John McClane poking his little head up there. Hey, I'm John McClane. Uh, on the back, you have pop movies. There's John McClane with his gun. And you see the other four in the wave John McClane, Al Powell, Hans Gruber, and Tony Vresky. Collect them all. Uh, 20th Century Fox, some little bit of credits for the box. Uh, also, Funko label there, Funko. Uh, pop movies again. Nice picture of just John McClane, broken glass, 667. Top just got John McClane's head, and on the bottom some more credits and stuff for the box. So yay, the credits for the box. <clears throat> but you know, if, as cool as the box is, no one wants to see him in the box. So let's go ahead and get him out of the box and play with him a bit. And here John McClane is out of his package, and he is such a cute little pup, but he's tough. He's tough. Don't call him cute. All right, out of the package, John McClane stands about four inches tall, and you can see he is sporting his uh, stolen radio and his uh, gun that he had. And he is uh, got brown hair. He's got a lot of uh, dirt on him for crawling around in you know ventilation shafts and uh air vents he has a little blood over his uh left eye that's kind of creepy and graphic uh a little black radio nice uh detail um you can actually see he has a uh watch let's see if it's nice zoom in there a little bit of watch detail a little bit of uh tattoo uh, it's not tattoos, it's um, <clears throat> his kill markers. Remember, he was uh, taking count, <clears throat> and when he was in the vents, he was listening to them, and he wrote their names on his forearm. Okay, and moving across the shirt, you can see that it has, um, has a little bit of blood stains. Again, it's really dirty, and he's got some other markings on it. it has a little belt. You can see there, gray slacks and no shoes. That's very funny because that was a crucial part of the movie. You know, when they shot the glass and he had to run across it. Uh, on the side, you see his gun. Nice sculpted detail there. And his ring, ring wedding ring. He's got there. Um, here's a tattoo. Got a little tattoo. See if I can get the camera to focus. Oh, gas. Focus on the tattoo. We'll zoom back. Okay, there it is. There it is. It's like a little skull with a hat. Oh, that's pretty neat. Um, and on the back of the shirt, it it's dirty as well. You got some sweat stains and some brown uh, muck, I guess. I don't know. All sorts of different uh, details there. And back of the belt, back of the pants. A little bit of grunge on his feet. I don't know if that's. Uh, supposed to be there or if it's just like some schmooze or schmuck back up there. But anyway, <clears throat> that is the John McClane pup. Uh, for articulation, the only thing that you have is his head does move around and that's the standard pup uh, function or articulation. So, he, he's such a cute little John McClane. Such a cute little John McClane. Alright, and for some pop comparisons, 
Here he is with Al Bundy. Hey, yippee-ki-yay. And here he is with Willy Wonka. And there you are with some good Funko comparisons of John McClane's. We'll take these guys out. <coughs> Oop, there they went. Ah! Poor Al. Okay, anyway. <coughs> so, John McClane is a great little pop. He's the first one in the Die Hard uh, series. Let me show it on the back of the box. Um, they did have Al, but, uh, nope, no, if I'll get Al. He, he, uh, you know, the more I think about it, the more I actually like most of these, Al and Hans and, uh, even Tony Resky, even though his shirt says, now I have a gun, ho, 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 and it should say, now I have a machine gun. I guess the word machine was too much to print onto that little space, but anyway, they tried. So, yeah, this has just been a quick review on this little guy. He's cute, adorable, nice little John McClane. If you like the Die Hard series, um, highly recommend picking him up. So this has been Funko Pop John McClane from the Die Hard movie series. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, and we'll catch you later. yippee ki -yay. We can live free or we can die hard As hard as we can From taking on the terrorists he's ever met Look at the coast, we get together, have a few laughs